All of life is one integrated, interwoven whole. One part cannot be separated from another. For you and all those around you, all that is in this manifest world is an expression within the awareness of the cosmic entity. Like the dream in the mind, so that cosmic entity is dreaming your existence, is dreaming the existence of every living being and the struggles and joys of duality. Within that dream, there are certain laws that operate that make this manifest expression possible. The Lady Pakriti, Mother Nature, manifests, dances the dance of creation within the mind of the infinite, within the aware consciousness of being. She dances the dance of manifestation. And the, her paintbrush has three points, sattva, sentient, rajas, mutative, and tamas, static. And these three principles unfold all that is. So when you think, I am, who is that I? Who abides where you are? Is it not the one eternal, infinite self, the divine cosmic entity that is there, manifesting as you, manifesting as all those you love, manifesting in all the world, both that which is supportive of life and that which is dark and diminishes life. This world has no sense of morality in the sense that both shadow and light play together to form the dance of creation, the formation of opposites, and out of those opposites manifests the trifold universe and all that appears to dance in the dance of creation. It is said you are not alone. But what does that mean, you are not alone? For that which you call you is composed of the one, is it not? You are the dream in the mind of the dreamer. You are imagined in the mind of the cosmic one. So that which you call you can never be separated out from that cosmic entity. That one is always with you <coughs> and will show himself, herself, will manifest for you in various ways. And if you keep your vision subtle and your mind aware, you will notice those ways. You will see the one behind the curtain. You will notice his movements. You will notice his presence. Deep meditation is very beneficial for this process. The frequency of your mind makes a difference. If your mind is resonating with uh, material objects and the physical world, <clears throat> what we will see, what you will notice is the physical world. But if your mind becomes more subtle, you notice your feelings, you notice psychological movements, you notice uh, your sadness, your happiness, your fear. These become prominent in your mind. And as your frequency 
becomes even more subtle when your awareness attunes to an even more subtle frequency, then you begin to notice that which is called intuition. You begin to notice the many movements that happen around you, the subtle spiritual forms, the movement of the cosmic being in this world, the touch of the infinite. And as mind grows in magnitude, as the frequency becomes even more aligned with that sublime entity, with that cosmic progenitor, you begin to experience the deep love, the sense of grace, and the presence of that one in your life. You begin to feel that one is just near you, touching you. You feel the touch of that infinite one on your mind, on your being. You feel you live in the grace of that divine being. And as you surrender, as you let go, you feel that you are melted in that one and you are are blended together. And the deeper you let go, the more you let go, the more that blending becomes one. You dissolve into that one. This is the natural state of mind, natural state of being. This is not some great achievement of some high, holy individuals. This is for you. This is your personal relationship to the self of yourself, to your Guru Dev, to your Ishta Deva. You each have a personal relationship to your Ishta Deva. But who is your Ishta Deva? A person? A personality? An individual? No, 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 no. Though the Ishtadeva may have manifested in the form and ambience of a particular individual, the Ishtadeva is none other than the Infinite One. The Ishtadeva is your own divine self, that cosmic progenitor the self of yourself, the self of all beings. And that cosmic one is beyond comprehension of the human mind. You can only notice the traces of that one's grace, for that one is omnipotent and omniscient. There is no place, even in the darkest shadows, that that one does not abide. When your heart and mind abide with that one, you feel the love and grace and the light of the true spirit that is there even in the hardest times, in the darkest shadows, in birth and in death. That one is there. So cultivate your relationship to your Ishtadeva. Cultivate knowledge of your Ishtadeva, for that one is not an ordinary person or personality that lives or has lived in this world. That one is far more. That one is your own cosmic self. That one is the very source of all that is, eternal, immortal pure being, a love beyond human comprehension, a peace that surpasses understanding. There are no words for that one, for words have limits, and that one is limitless. The poets and the minstrels capture the essence, the feeling, The words come and go. The feeling is real. 
the feeling of love, the feeling of being loved unconditionally. There is a presence near you. The presence of your Ishtadeva is with each and every one of you. When you attune your mind and attention away from the material objects and the psychological movements of the mind, and you attune to the love of spirit, you learn to live in a subtle frequency. And there are subtle emanations, subtle worlds, subtle manifestations. Many things may happen unexplained by science, though in subtle science they have explanation. In the world of today that you live in, they are unexplainable, for there is some limited understanding in the human mind of the nature of this reality. And so things cannot be explained, and so you call them miracles. They are impressions all within the cosmic mind of the infinite one. Let that one open your heart. Let that one draw you close. And as you feel that presence around you, let the duality fade and let yourself be in that love. Let yourself surrender into that love. That is your home. Let all that is be in that. And let yourself be in all that is. There is no separation. For all is composed of the one eternal self, the essential being, the beloved, your Ishtadeva. Your Ishtadeva is with you always and is your deepest self.